old me again. Um, I wanted to show you a different strategy as to how to find a missing addend. Um, and this time I'm going to show you uh, with like a bigger number. Okay, so let's say, for example, that we have 300. And what you have been seeing on your child's homework is it'll say like 300 to 600. Okay, and then it'll say like draw, label, and box. What that means is, is draw 300, which would be represented by three squares. This is how we represent 100. So we would have 100, 200, 300. So we're going to draw, we're going to box that. And if you can see, I put it right under the 300, so it's labeled. So draw, label, and box. What I like to do is show the kids that this is our starting point. This is where we start. And then we're going to add something to get to 600. So we have to figure out what are we going to add to 300 to get to 600. And hopefully your child will say, well, I'm going to add another 300. So we would do that and represent it in this way. So you would draw, label, and box the 300 plus what you're adding to this to get to the 600, okay? Now you can also do that with numbers using tens and ones as well. So let's say that I have 421 and I wanna figure out how to get to um, 634, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by drawing, labeling, and boxing the 421. And I would do that by doing four hundreds and two tens and one one. And I'm going to draw that and I boxed it. See? And I labeled it because I put it right under that. So this is a representation of 400. 21. Now I have to figure out what do I have to add to that to get to 634. So I'm going to put a plus sign and I'm going to try by adding 100. So if I add 100, that's going to get me to 521. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to try to add another 100. So that would get me to 621. So I'm at 621, and I'm sort of visualizing this in my mind. I'm not writing it down like I did on the empty number line as much. So I'm at 621 if I add two more hundreds. Well, at this point, I can't really add any more hundreds because that would take me to 721. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 10. So I'm at 621. Now I'm going to go add a 10, and that brings me to 631. Ooh, I can't add any more tens, so I need to add some ones now. So I'm at 631, and then I can add three ones to bring me up to 634. And I can do an equal sign and do 634. So my answer is actually this right here, 213. Because if I added 213, to 200, or I'm sorry, 421, that would give me 634. So this is another method or another way to uh, figure out how to find a missing add-end. Okay, have a good day. Bye.